Welcome to part two of our Fungin Master Dave's miniature mashup Avengers 2 Age of Ultron Heroclix Conversion Special. <laughs> Who are we converting today? Why, Vulture from the 90s Spider-Man cartoon. No, really. No, seriously, that's who we're converting. I might have caught that show back when it was on, but I could not remember the Vulture, and I think I know why now. You see, that's not the Vulture. That's Zack and Crystal's son Gavin via Ferngully fan art. Special thanks to Silver Buller on DeviantArt for drawing that, by the way. Talk about ageism in the workplace. I mean, you can't even be Spider-Man's lamest villain without looking like one of the lost Winchester brothers. I'm looking at this entry here on uh, Marvel Toonopedia. And uh, it seems like he's the same character, except there's two voice actors, one for old Vulture and one for young Vulture. And as I read on, it says, he built a machine that allowed him to absorb youth. Austin Powers is no longer a threat to me. I have his mojo. Next, I'll build a machine that allows me to absorb mad dance skills. All right, where are my bird girls? You're on in five. Oh God, someone helped the Vulture find his wig. Why is he such an awful green? Is he nauseous? Vultures don't get nausea. That's the whole point of being a vulture. I drew the duck blue because I've never seen a blue duck before. And to be honest with you, I wanted to see a blue duck. Design isn't terrible, except he doesn't look like a villain. He looks like a dashing hero. And that's a design flaw we're going to turn into a strength today. You see, the vulture is geared up just like Falcon from the Captain America 2. Especially if you look at the concept art, where he's sporting metallic feathers like the masterfully designed Archangel. Hey! Yeah, I could have went weirder. Now I'm gonna turn this vulture into a passable Marvel Cinematic Universe Falcon right before your very eyes. And how will I work this miracle? With clearance craft paint and 10 year old brushes. I need more subscribers, you guys. Please help me! Seriously, I want to keep bringing this show to you, and I need you to spread the miniature mashup gospel. I, I could really use the help. I, I have to look into getting a GoFundMe page or something. Anyway, woe is me. Let's start by stripping this miniature down. I'm going to model this guy a little bit. We're going to alter him using a Dremel tool and a pair of wire clippers. Let's take this little nubbin off his foot. This is what Hero Clicks, the flyers, used to use to stand on stands that uh, kept him above the fray, I suppose. And we're gonna use a Dremel tool to put a hole in his back for a different stand, and to put that, uh, kind of hide it in the exhaust part, port in his jet pack. And uh, as you can see, he's hanging on a little bit of wire here. And now he's got black primer all over him. He's dry and he's ready to be painted. I'm gonna start by slapping some gray paint over the majority of him. And you don't want to put it on too thin, you want to leave the, the black underneath to define the areas, you know, provide shadow. And we're just going to hit him with gray. If it gets on his face, it's okay. If it gets on his wings a little bit, it's okay. Uh, this is just your very first layer of base uh, undercoating. And on the back, we're just going to get the back of his head a little bit and the back of his legs. Um, eventually, we're going to give him black boots. So. Just keep hitting that gray. And uh, just a little bit lighter, hit it again. Hold on. Then we're going to hit the wings with uh, silver dry brushing. Again, try to leave as much definition in there as we can. I'm just going to go over it real quick. Uh, brush doesn't have to be particularly dry, but not get too wet. Start sealing in the cracks and you get that really fake silver look and uh, that's not what we're going for we are going for uh, granularity in the wings and we'll do the same on the back same effect just see the way I'm brushing against the grain that's always how you want to do dry brushing I'm stroking from the outside in and from the inside out uh, never lengthwise with the uh, with the wing, with the individual feathers, you want to bring them out as much as possible. And we're just going to go over that a couple of times until we get the desired look that we want. Then we're going to add his skin, and uh, I'm going to paint in the different sections of raised muscle, and I'm going to leave as much black in there as I can to provide a shadow. 
and uh, to break that up. And I'll fill in his face as well with the same principle in mind, just hitting the raised areas. And we're going to go over the tips again. Um, just cleaning everything up. I'm cleaning his gloves up. I'm cleaning the tip of the wings up. Although I'm probably adding an extra step here. I should probably do the tips of the wings in white. But I uh, wasn't entirely sure what I was going to do with them until I did it. And uh, you'll see what I'm talking about shortly. Now you see I brought out his eyes with a little bit of white. I brought out all the detail on his belt and on his chest armor, on his little thigh holster with white and now I'm going over the tips of the wings with white here as well and there's a method to my madness I'm gonna uh, do a coat of white then a coat of orange all over a nice sort of day glow orange this will be our medium color now we're gonna do a gradient of red starting at the base and I'm adding that line right here now and uh, do it, of course, on both sides. And here's how it goes in the back. It's a little different because we got a little bit more of a dip in there. And we're going to go from red to reddish orange to yellow orange and to just yellow. Lightening up the paint as we go. As you can see. And it requires a little bit of blending and a little bit of patience. I'm sort of doing this in real time. I may, you know I'm lying, this is slightly sped up. But uh, that little bit extra detail, it's gonna pay off when it's done. Right now it looks like candy corn, but when it's fully blended, it's, it's quite impressive. And you can see me blending it in a little bit with the brush, just finding the median color. 